fight Why we can't just compromise Between the blacks and the whites Why we can't just love each other I don't understand Why we have to fight each other We should compromise And not do fight things There's nothing that needs to change dramatically I promise If you decide to take an extreme side Then you're as bad as the Nazis you're fighting Oh! Yeah! Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Minecraft video. One of his French girls asks, how come Leo didn't get an Oscar this year? SMH! It's because my dick is larger than his. This one from Matthew the Beast at Duke.edu. Yeah, sure, that's cool, but like, bro, have you seen Fight Club? Matthew, I got one answer for you. Yes, I have seen Fight Club. I did not like it. The reason being, my dick is larger than yours. Oh yeah. This beat is fresh. This beat is lit. You know, it brings me back really to when I was in the schoolyard with my boys, my gang, my uh, palm de frères, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm sure you know what I'm saying, you know. Because, like, you know, boys were boys, you know, back then we weren't so concerned with, um, with political correctness with always being courteous to other people. Nah, we just huh, huh, did what we wanted. And it was great, you know? Like, me and my my um, my friends, uh, Jason, Martin, Luke. Oh, and my buddy Trevor, yeah. We used to get wild, man. We used to get wild. I tell you, man, it was crazy, the stuff that we used to do. We'd like sit in the back of the classroom and talk to each other. We'd compare the different boob sizes of all the girls in front of us. Yeah, man, it was absolutely lit. Holmes, ugh. And since that day, and since that hour, <laughs>
about systemic racism is that it's part of a system. You can't really like break out of it all that easily. You have to really examine the system in which you are in and from that situation extrapolate different scenarios and conclusion in order to fully grasp the gravity of your situation. Because if something is systemic, then it's built into a system, and you can't just whiz around and expect to find an answer. No, you have to examine it deeply. You have to really understand the nitty-gritty of your subject material. Because that's what it means whenever something is ingrained into a system, when it is, in a word, systemic. Racism. Mis... What is it? Mis... 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 No, that's mad. Misogyny. Racism, misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, queerphobia. You want to put a phobia on it? It likely exists in Hollywood. From user red, white, and fuck you. So the libs get an award ceremony, but our troops don't? <laughs> Triggered much. Well, buddy. I make this very evidently clear to you. The reason is that my penis is larger than your penis. You hear? Man, just had to get that out of my system because tonight we're talking about a very contentious t subject. By the way, like and subscribe if you like that little solo there. It's something that I'm trying out on the side, you know, the singing career music. You can check my mixtape on SoundCloud. You know how that is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be talking about today is something very contentious, very polarizing, that I really want to set the record straight on. The Oscars. Now, there's been a lot of hullabaloo, especially since social media has taken over our lives and has started running our attitudes, informing how we think about things and how we view other people. What was I going to say again? I just got mad at social media. Sorry! That's what, I don't, yeah, mm -hmm, that's just what being this life is like. Anyway, ever since social media started ruining our lives and exposing us to things that we didn't want to talk about, there's been this hullabaloo around the Oscars every year about how it's so racist, misogynistic, homophobic, and transphobic. And I just don't get it. Because, like, trans people have won awards before, haven't they? Gay people have won awards before, haven't they? You know, they exist. They're in films. Just the other day I was taking a class and it had a gay person in it. So, like, they're not underrepresented. Like, even though there's only one of them winning every ten years, like, that doesn't mean anything. It's okay. They're being represented as much as they are in society. So, like, what's the problem? I don't get it. Like, forgive me for sounding like a part of the alt-right, but all these triggered liberals, I don't understand it. All these leftists going up in arms and Antifa and anti feet and the democratic socialists, I just don't get it! Why do they have to be so mad at each other? Why can't they just love each other? Why can't we just love each other and watch movies and not care about bullshit? It's dumb! I've had, I had a long day at work today, guys. You know what happened? I spent the entire shift expecting a family to come in and order a bunch of ramen bowls. It didn't happen. I didn't close because I thought it was going to happen. It didn't happen. You guys believe that? And now I'm driving home on the night of the Oscars and my girlfriend just broke up with me because I said that Quentin Tarantino wasn't that bad of a guy. Like, my life is falling apart! And it's all because of these fucking liberals! I'm sorry! I voted for Hillary Clinton! I, I, I pretended to like Bernie Sanders. I'm sorry. But socialism isn't the answer. Giving more black people awards when they deserve it isn't the answer. We just gotta compromise, man. We gotta compromise. We gotta love each other. We gotta forget about the strife and the iniquity and the sadness. And just remember that we're all part of one race. 
And I believe that with every fiber of my being that one day, one hour, one millisecond, we can do what Martin Luther King Jr. said in his I Have a Dream speech that everyone quotes but has no fucking clue what they're talking about. When we can be equal and we can love each other and we can all get Oscars awards. And Ed Sheeran can finally win a Grammy in peace. Shape of You speaks to me, man. He deserved that Grammy. He deserved it. And... <laughs> and the fucking... And the say that he did it. That him as an artist does not deserve it's wrong. It's ludicrous. It's disgusting. All these Antifa people just running amok saying that we should get a universal basic income and that all people should have health care. Why can't we just be content with some people having health care? That way everybody's happy. Why? Why does it have to be like this? I'm so sorry. Michelle, please take me back. I didn't know that he was a rapist. Well, actually I did, but... Oh, I know he's not a rapist. He condoned the rape. That's what I mean. I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry. This from Chili's Freak 92. Why can't the movies be about something nice, like my son? Woman, it is because my dick is larger than yours.